Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP. This is not going to be a normal XRP video. I'm going to talk about where we are right now and where we're going as XRP investors. So invest in the railway lines of the fourth and fifth industrial revolution with crypto. This is the last and greatest transfer of wealth in history. Once the new system is in place, it's over forever. Own some of the rails, XRP, XLM, etc. You know, people think you need thousands and thousands of dollars to put into these cryptocurrencies. You really don't if you know what you hold. I always tell you, never overinvest in crypto. Buy as much as you could afford to lose. Sit back and be patient and watch this all play out. A fourth industrial revolution is happening right now. We're going into the digital age. And it's so easy to make money. All you have to do is invest in the right cryptocurrencies. You know, I watched the men who built America on the History Channel. It puts into perspective how big this actually is. Because, you know, back then, only a handful of people got rich. And the same will happen today. You know, even all the people that hold XRP will not be holding XRP when it gets to the high, high numbers. A lot will sell off along the way. And most likely, financial institutions will be buying up their XRP as they're selling it off. And at some point, you will be priced out of this cryptocurrency. If you know what you hold, you can understand how big this actually is. Now we know all about the problems that are going on at the banks. Some are isolated problems, some are much bigger problems. I'm talking about full-on bank collapses and then consolidations happen. That's also part of the fourth industrial revolution. It's happening by design. We will be left with just a handful of banks. Now listen to Kramer. He's about to be on the street. Fed is done bailing out and they are now doing bail ends. Take a listen to this. He has no idea. Kramer. I have talked to the heads of almost every single one of these firms in the last 72 hours, and he has no idea what it's like out there. None! And Bill Poole has no idea what it's like out there. My people have been in this game for 25 years, and they are losing their jobs, and these firms are gonna go out of business, and he's nuts, they're nuts! They know nothing! Kramer. I have not seen I, it like this I, since I, I went five bid for a half a million shares of Citigroup when I got hit in 1990. This is a different kind of market, and the Fed is asleep. The Fed is not asleep. He's not asleep. He's not doing bailouts anymore. The days of bailouts are coming to an end, and people still don't realize that. And that's why I always said, Right now is a time where the banks are not safe. However, I do want to point out, I think Jim Cramer staged this situation. And I, it looked like almost like a soap opera playing out there. But take a listen to what bail-ins actually are. And this comes from the FDIC. Should be accessible when people need to know. But I don't think you have much hope <laughs> of, of reaching a public that doesn't have a professional need to know. I completely agree with that. I almost think you'd scare the public if you put this out. Like, why are they telling me this? Should I be concerned about my bank? Like, my insurance company doesn't tell me what they're doing with my assets. If they just assume they're going to pay my claim, right? It's, it's, I think you've got to think of the unintended consequences of taking a public that has more full faith and confidence in the banking system than maybe people in this room do, <laughs> that... We want them to have full faith and confidence in the banking system. They know the FDIC insurance is there. They know it works. They put their money in. They're going to get their money out. So there, there's a select crowd of people that are in the institutional side. And if they want to understand this, they're going to find a way to understand this. There's a bunch of law firms represented in this room. There's a bunch of people that will charge them by the hour a lot of money to explain this all to them. 
and, and, and it's fine. I, I don't have a I don't have a problem with that. And they all have huge staffs. But I would be careful about the unintended consequences of starting to blast too much of this out in the general public. And the reason they're talking like that is because they don't have the money to back your money if a whole handful of banks fell at one time, collapsed out at one time. And you hear how they giggle? Because they know the confidence in the banking system is totally gone. Most people are pulling their money out of the bank and they're putting it somewhere else, whether it be gold, silver, crypto, whatever. Just something other than the current banking system. So I think what's going to happen in the future is a lot of rich people, people that are rich now, that are so beholden to the U.S. dollar, I think their wealth will get swallowed up inside of bail-ins. There's also a lot of people that are very rich out there that will never transfer over to digital money. In other words, they won't take their current fiat and transfer it into digital money. They just don't see it. They don't see they look at it as monopoly money the same way they look at crypto and most likely a lot of people's wealth will be swallowed up in the end remember us dollar will never die it will only transit into a different format in this case digital like i was saying i think when they first come out with the us digital currency people are going to have a time period put on it maybe 90 days to convert whatever cash they have into digital money after that their paper cash will become worthless i think we will see that happen sometime between now and 2027. the u.s debt will rise by more than five billion dollars every single day for the next decade that's how bad it actually is and people still want to buy the dollar the BRICS community have realized the truth. 22 new applications too. The move away from USD will ship fast in 2024 as their central ba banks see seek substitutes. So remember I was telling you, I think BRICS is speeding up the timeline because everybody's looking at 2025 to be the big year for crypto. I think we already are accelerating that. I think sometime in the fall, this fall, we're going to start to see things start to fall apart. 2024, things are going to get pretty bad, but not so much for crypto investors. If you're invested in the right way, if you're holding XRP, you have nothing to worry about. Because at the same time as the US dollar is going to fall, XRP will rise in price. There are two errors to be mindful of, not possessing XRP and selling your XRP prematurely. Now, as XRP hits certain price points, people are going to tell you, now's the time to sell. But nobody knows that's the time to sell. Nobody can call this market. You know, people could always speculate around this market, but they cannot call it 100%. And here's what I think could also happen. This is an opinion of mine. Okay, so people are based on previous cycles and market cap. So say XRP was to hit, say, $15, right? Most people will start calling that the top. But what happens if utility kicks in? And all of a sudden, XRP starts to continue to rise after $15. And a lot of people sold. And now they're going to wait for that pullback still. But it continues going upward. Because we have more and more adoption happening around the world at the same time. Cross-border payments going live at the same time in this country and that country utilizing XRP. Do you see what I'm saying? Sometimes if you sell at a price point and you think that's it, it could maybe get better in the end. And if you know what you hold, you see the full potential of XRP. The fourth industrial revolution is about to go parabolic, except this time everyone can now own a piece. And it's true. And that's why I always tell you, tell your friends, tell your family, now's the time to get into crypto. I do it all the time. My family thinks I'm a crazy person. They still think me investing in XRP is stupid. But here's what's going to happen. 
all of a sudden XRP is going to skyrocket and they're going to be like, well, we should have listened to you. You know, we should have bought XRP when we had the chance. Can you loan me some money? And I say that because most people will do that to you, especially friends. Friends have no filter. They'll borrow from you. They'll ask you for money quicker than anyone else you know. You know, family, they're kind of hesitant sometimes. Unless you're very close-knit, then they have no problem asking you for cash. But for the most part, they also don't... You prove them wrong. So they're not going to want to admit they're wrong right out of the gate. But, you know, that's what's coming. And, you know, their opportunity is there in front of them. The same way it's there in front of you. And that's why I always said, anybody who passes this up is going to regret it for the rest of their life. All part of the global financial reset. All debts wiped and all currencies on par to create a level playing field. The quantum financial system. And look at what's going on right now. Gesera, Nesera, first Russia and now China has forgiven debt to 17 countries in Africa. I think China and Russia is already planning for the new financial system. I think they're the first movers pushing us into that new financial system. Why XRP acting as a bridge currency could trigger massive price growth. XRP is acting as a bridge currency connecting various fiat and cryptocurrencies. The bridge function could cause massive price appreciation for XRP. And that's why I was saying, you know, when people talk about certain price points, I think they're totally wrong on this cryptocurrency. I still think they're wrong on XLM. You know, I'm still doing videos on that and telling people, you want to buy now. It's dirt cheap. It's sitting at like 13 cents. You want to continue to buy it as long as you possibly can afford to. Because at some point, you will no longer afford these cryptocurrencies. Guaranteed income programs have been launched in 24 states across the U.S. In the state of the art, is this the start of true universal basic income? You know, our country's in debt and we're testing out UBI at a time like this. But I think it's happening by design. I think they're testing it out to see exactly how it's going to play out in real time throughout the whole country. Because in the future, universal basic income is going to be a thing, a major thing. Everybody's going to be on it unless you have money to stay off of that system. That's why I always said, if you enrich yourself now, you can avoid, you know, a CBDC possibly. You can avoid living under a digital ID because do you think the elites are going to live under that system? Absolutely not. They already have an alternative, I'm sure. Plus, they have the money to buy whatever they want anyway. And maybe they'll convert their money to digital in the future, but they'll just use a digital wallet and pay for things that way, avoiding a CBDC most likely. But that's my opinion. I Nobody's 100% sure on what's really going to happen around that. So cross-border CBDC transfers tested in the United States. So they're already testing out a, say, like a digital currency here in the U.S., but yet people here in the U.S. don't see a cashless society of the future. Most people out of, outside of crypto have no idea this is even happening. But you know why they're testing all this right now? Because they're testing for the new financial system. That's how close I think we actually are. Remember, even this was supposed to be you know, something way years down the road, 15-minute cities, but yet they're already doing studies for 15-minute cities right here inside the United States. So everything we ever talked about around the World Economic Forum is already playing out here in the U.S. They're testing it on a daily basis, I'm sure. And I think the new financial system is only a year or two away now. You know, people that said that's not going to happen until 2030, I think they're totally wrong. So this is a very hopeful time for XRP holders. We're filled with enthusiasm, this world, to get set up with XRP as the connector, the bridge of everything. And it's not just going to bridge money. Think about tokenization as well.
Think about metaverses growing out and expanding. Think about every, you know, everything you know is pushing ahead. And it's beyond just cross-border payments. Think about when they start to tokenize water and trees and everything around you. Then think about carbon credits because those are coming as well. Everybody's going to have to buy carbon offsets to do all the things they do now except you will be rich enough to pay for that. Your life may not ever change based on how much you make off of your XRP. And if you hold it long enough, I don't think you have anything to worry about because this is so much bigger than most people think. And it doesn't take a whole lot of an imagination to know what's coming. All you have to do is take a look at all the real world events that are playing out right now in real time. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.